Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my zone online school. My name is Tita Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is culture and traditions. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, it's very important for us to sanitize. Now remember, when you sanitize, you are showing how much you care about the people around you as well as how much you are trying to stay far away from coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done! For today's lesson, we are going to be talking about Namibian food and counting. exercise today boys and girls please turn to page 9 on page 9 you can see that we have an empty plate and we are going to talk about the foods from Namibia now there are many different types of food that are grown in Namibia we have foods that make up our starches then we have foods that are our fruits and foods that are our vegetables. So I have given you a clue on the board on which foods we grow. Now in Namibia we are very lucky because we have different types of foods that we grow. For our starches we use maize and wheat. This is where our pup comes from and sometimes it's not just pup but bread as well and then we also grow beans and tomatoes this also makes up part of our vegetables as well now they don't always grow at the same time we have what are called seasons so sometimes our tomatoes are out of season, meaning they are very difficult to find because very few farmers are growing them. And then for our fruits, we have the delicious grapes and the watermelon. Now I know you know the times when these grow because they are sold everywhere in Namibia. So when the grapes are in season, we see them being sold. The different types of grapes, the red grapes and the green ones. The same goes for the watermelon. It is not grown throughout the whole year, but there's a special season for them where they are big and juicy. <laughs> so I want you to list more foods that are grown in Namibia. You can ask your parents or your guardians at home as well. Let's take a look now at the bottom of this exercise. Now the bottom is asking you to draw a typical meal eaten in Namibia. Now there are many different types of foods 
that we can eat and sometimes we even eat many of them in one meal so I'm going to show you what is in my K-Lite today because I don't have a plate I want to show you the different foods that come together to make a meal so in my K-Lite I have today chicken and rice and butternut now they form the three different groups of foods that I need so that I can stay strong and healthy every time you eat a meal boys and girls it's very important for us to have a vegetable and then you can also end your meal with a fruit in most Namibian homes there is definitely meat and then you have your starch in this case my starch is rice and then you have a salad or a vegetable this is what is called a balanced diet and I want you to draw what you are going to eat maybe for lunch maybe for supper even breakfast and when you're done drawing make sure that you color your foods the correct colors I will see you just now after our short advert break follow us on my zone Facebook active kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi I hope you enjoyed yourself when you were drawing your foods and remember there's no such thing as a wrong type of food now that we are done please can we turn to page 10 <laughs> on page 10 we have our bunnies and the bunnies have eggs now you can see that each bunny has different eggs one bunny has 14 eggs the other has 11 then we have a bunny with 17 eggs and there's another bunny with 10 eggs the bunny at the bottom has 20 eggs oh wow that's a lot of eggs and the last bunny has 12 eggs so it is going to be your job to make sure that you color in the correct amount of eggs now I have my eggs here from the bunny rabbits and I want to show you what they look like now they look like normal eggs but I'm very sure that if I crack one open it will have a surprise for me and these eggs are normally found during Easter time so I want to ask you what type of eggs do you have during Easter and also when you're coloring it's okay to make them different colors they don't have to be white like the ones in the book or the ones that I have here I just want you to have fun coloring the eggs make sure that you color the correct amount of eggs as well now that we are done with that I will leave you to do that by yourself and let's move on to page 11 together on page 11 we are now going to be doing doubling and doubling is so much fun and easy because all that we are doing is adding on we are adding on more of the same number to get our answer so when we double we are taking one number and that same number we are adding it to get our answer let us try and do the first two together on the board now the first one says 8 plus 8 which means the number that has been doubled here is 8 so that is why it says plus 8 so we want to find out what 8 plus 8 equals 
So what we're going to do is use the counting on method. Now the counting on method is very simple because all we're going to do is draw eight sticks first. So let us draw eight sticks. You in your book, me on the board. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I now have my eight sticks and I'm going to use them to count on to the next one so that I can get my answer. Now the number after eight is nine. So we are going to start at nine. Make sure you cross out your sticks as you go so that you are not confused. Are we ready? You in your book and me on the chalkboard. Let's go. Starting from nine. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16. So we now know that our answer is 16. And now our sum is complete. It now says 8 plus 8 equals 16. Now remember we are doubling the first number. So our answer is very important because it shows us what happens if you put 8 and then double it. Let's try the next one together. The next one says three plus three. So what we are going to do is draw how many sticks boys and girls? Yes, three sticks. So we start, let's go, you in your book and me on the board. One, two, three so i have my three sticks and i'm going to use counting on now the number after three is four so this is where we will start let us begin remember to cross out your sticks as you go so that you don't get confused let's begin with four four five Six. So our answer is six. And now our sum reads three plus three equals six. Now I want you to do the rest by yourself. Take your time because they are quite a lot. And remember, we are doubling the first number that we get so that we can also see our answer as the number doubled. Take your time, make your sticks, cross them out, and I'll see you after our short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We've now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Now that we are done, boys and girls, we need to sanitize. Remember, when we sanitize, we are showing the world that we are responsible, boys and girls, and that we care about our people around us. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. I wonder, has anyone seen Sashi today? He has been a very naughty boy. <laughs> Hello, Sashi. How are you? That's 
good. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>